Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I'm on my audience, and now I'm talking to Stephanie Humphrey. She's a tech life expert, and she's here to help our lives to be a whole lot better. She's talking about how parents can help kids financially prepare for post-graduation. All right, Stephanie, I've seen so many graduations on Facebook, I don't think I can take any more. <laughs> so that tells me they're graduating out there. What kind of post-life can you help them have? Well, it's an important time to discuss money with your kids because, you know, according to a 2021 study that was hosted by Chase, who I partnered with today, 70% of parents are teaching their kids about money basics, but that means 30% of families are not. So teaching kids about money at a young age is crucial to help them build those good financial habits. And graduation is the perfect time because it's a big milestone that often comes with a whole new set of responsibilities. And banks can really help students and families kind of prepare for those those financial responsibilities that come up with each new chapter. I saw that according to a 2021 survey, 70% of parents are teaching their kids money basics. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. It's correct, but we got to focus on them other 30% of families who aren't doing it right. So a good first lesson is to teach kids how to manage money firsthand with a joint bank account. So, for example, Chase First Banking is for parents with kids age six and older. So you start them young. And while the account is owned by the parent, it provides the kids with their very own debit card, and that's going to get managed through the Chase Bank app. So now parents can manage where and how much their kids can spend, they can set limits, and they can approve or decline requests for money. Now, a second good lesson uh, that parents can do is to prioritize saving over spending. So summer's almost here. That's a lot of activities happening with a big price tag to go along with it. So you can take this opportunity to explain the cost to your kids and then even offer a portion of their allowance to allocate to an outing, which is going to help them learn how to budget. And I love that Chase offers a budget tool where you can set the budget, you can track the spending, and then you make those adjustments as you need. And this is also where the Chase High School checking account really makes a lot of sense too, because that's available for kids age 13 to 17 with no monthly service fee. So now your teen can track their spending, their withdrawals, their deposits, and you can rest easy knowing that the debit card transactions have fraud monitoring. The third thing is to explain that smart spending leads to smart saving. So for instance, Chase offers auto save, which is going to let you easily set up those repeating automatic transfers from your checking into your savings account. And then finally, give them activities that teach the importance of earning, like doing chores to earn an allowance and keep that conversation going. Valder, conversations are critical. So continuous check-ins about the savings and the expenses, those are going to be helpful helpful for both the parents and the kids. This is a great idea. Uh, not only teach good money habit, it teach entrepreneurship mm -hmm. because, you know, most kids probably not going to like the loans that they get so they get more money. So they, now they can create an adventure so that they can have money. What do you That's do right. that we could take away with your own kids? What, what are some of the things you would like to share with my audience? So let's talk about what happens after high school. So we got your Chase First Banking for the little ones. We got high school checking for the school, high schoolers. But after high school, Chase College Checking is going to be for those kids between the ages of 17 and 24. And this is really going to set them up for the next phase of their life because you don't want to just cut them off uh, once they get out the house. This account is going to make the banking easy and secure. It's going to allow the students to manage their money, to view their accounts, to pay their bills uh, and to transfer or request money all through the mobile app. So we are helping students with financial literacy from the very, very beginning all the way through their college years with Chase. 
Okay, those are some great opportunities for kids to be that mogul that they want to be. Those are the words that kids use. That's now right. Now Chase is giving them a way to get there and be that person, that mogul that they want to be. Stephanie, online, how do parents learn? Because you got to realize uh, uh, many parents didn't have those skills, and now you're, we're asking them to teach those skills. So where do they go online? So to learn a lot more, get all the information they need, parents can visit chase.com slash family banking. Stephanie Humphrey, thank you so very much. Keep doing what you're doing. You're good at your job. Thanks so much, Valder. And I want to just give a quick shout out and congratulations to all the grads out there. That's very, very welcome. Because uh, like I said, there's a lot of them out there. I've it's seen them from pre-K to <laughs> postgraduate degrees in their, in their 70s. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, take care. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.